<laughs> look at these guys they are so cute welcome to the channel guys how are you doing thursday mornings are dedicated to our babies for now so i'm going to give you an update on yes you're hungry i'm going to give you an update on the babies today they are two weeks exactly when i'm doing this recording you're hungry but to keep these guys you're hungry quiet i'm going to give them a little feed usually i give them veggies first but as you see i didn't make it to the garden this morning yes rosie yes rosie my word my name is mary if you're new here guys let us just clean out the i don't like um handling the babies before i clean up so let's clean up first and then we go and check out the babies they're doing fantastic though they've grown so much since last week it's unbelievable you're gonna love it guys all right let's clean out the the poopy trays first hey girl and guys you might have noticed that there are there are new feeding containers in there and this one this is a watering container this is really supposed to be on the outer side of the cage like this and then this section inside but the the thing here it's too big for the old so i just i just secured it right here and it's working fine why i changed the containers was well for the watering it was because the babies started to run around and i didn't want any accident with them drowning in the bigger dish and also she was eating that dish yes miss now the feeding containers they these i got from amazon these are just so nifty some rings and then the container is just set inside the ring there so it's hard the Roy still knocks over is but it's harder for them to knock over the feed and waste it and it's easy for me to just take it out and wash it so that's Rosie's setup for her and the babies for now I might have to get bigger feeders when the babies get bigger but that's working fine for now and Roy also has his I used one of his container for water easy for me to take out and wash each day and he, he eats little compared to he's pining now because he needs um, veggies and I have not given him any this morning so, yes so that's what these are so they come in so handy and so neat She's right here waiting for me to pet her. Just look. She's so spoiled. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. There you go. Feel better? My word. So I store my manure in the bucket first and then I put it in bags. Sweep out first. What I do in the morning is I sweep out all of the um the droppings that didn't make it through the mesh. And then I empty the trays that catches it underneath. So what I did right here, guys, I, well, as you can see, and most of you watch the video on Steve and Marie, I finished the lower section. But right here was wide open where I had my trays, where I have my trays. 
and so i just made that thing to cover it so that's what under there look like let me try and show you all right so i have my old baking trays under there catching the pee and the poop and inside of them it's sawdust and that is absorbing the moisture in the from the urine so it doesn't have a an odor because we it's really close to home so we don't want to be smelling anything inside and then this closes up when i replace the containers it just closes up and let me show you what it looks like from inside the cage the sun is coming up now so we might have a challenge that's it so she one one wasn't enough so i placed two in there and that is catching most of the the droppings as as you can see down under there maybe one or two but not a lot and i'm happy with that i can work with that for now hey girl you just come here for your vitamin d in the mornings right yeah guys and i did a video on the the work that i did on this and posted it on eve and marie's <laughs> these guys are literally making trays that i use under there to catch the poop look at this look at manure <laughs> this is just rosy i cannot imagine what it will look like when the babies start pooing start eating solids and start pooing my word i don't think i'll ever be out of manure again This bucket is already full. Now what I do, I um, put sawdust in the trays. To, you might be graced by one of the babies very soon because they are, they are walking about like crazy. I place sawdust in our wood shavings, wood chips. This in the trays and that absorbs the urine because I've not figured out how to harvest the urine by itself yet. I'm working on it. So if I know I'm using this to absorb the urine so the um it doesn't smell because it's really close to where we're living so we don't want to smell it. Hey girl, are you satisfied already? They don't like to eat the 
um, feeding in the morning the pellets. They like um, the vegetables, so they're not very happy with me at all. So they'd much rather to be eating some collard greens or some Spanish nigo right now rather than the pellets. But gonna have to give me a minute, okay? Okay, okay, guys. Gonna have to give me a minute on that. Last week, the babies, they, I thought they were growing fast, but this week, that it just blew me out. It, it just blew my mind, trust me. How quickly they've grown in two weeks. They're just two weeks. Roy, what's wrong? Hmm? What's wrong, boy? Guys, let me go wash my hands. I'll be right back. Guys, this is Spanish needle. Our Spanish needle. I'm not sure how it is pronounced. I need to look it up. But it's one of the rabbit's favorite things to eat. Just give them a treat with it because I don't even give this thing a chance to grow back. I have been feeding it to them. But they have another favorite over in the garden, so... Let me go see if I find some of those and just give them a treat. This is another favorite of theirs, but I'm allowing the plants to recoup. My son lives on this plant in the mornings. Oh no, I get off my cabbage. But they also enjoy, I gave them nasturtium and they eat it, but they don't love it. This is what they love. The basil. I'll get the water out of that. There's some basils here too. Let me get some from here. They absolutely love this too. So I'm going to share this and treat both of them. Rosie, I have a treat for you girl. Oh, guys, and the bunnies are starting to nibble on. Here, girl, here. Come on, you need to get up. I have food. She don't realize what it is. Let me get her up. Come on, daisy girl. I know you're sunbathing, but hey, we have... I told you I had a treat, didn't I? <laughs> oh. now, let me just give you that. Roy, oh my word, Roy. Let me, let me give Roy his treat. Here, boy. Here. <laughs> there you go. Guys, I told you they much rather the bush. Over the pellets. Look, it's right at his mouth and he won't eat it. But look at it, the bush. I love it. Hi, Rosie. Hi, girl. Munchy, munchy, munchy. Isn't that yummy? Is that yummy, girl? <laughs> I guess it is. The babies are eating the, the dry A. Eh? It's a good thing. Sometime after. Help the poop out. See that? It's stuck. Never ending manure. Can't have this up here. Then the baby's coming up. To keep in here clean. Come on, get out. From time to time. I clean it out every day. Morning and evenings, and sometime in between.
Right, guys. So as I said, they are two weeks old now. So I'm going to... Sorry about that. So I'm going to usher them out to their mom and change the A in there because they've been peeing and pooing in there for two weeks. And I just think I need to change it now. So I'm going to try and get them out to mom so I can clean in there. So here goes, guys. Can you see them up in there? They're so big. Look at these guys. They are so cute. All right. So you probably get a chance to see all of them coming out now. Come here. Come here. I'm going to try and lock them out of the... Hold on. Because they're going to try and come back. I'll show you the individual bunnies in a minute. See? You're trying to come back around. You'll be back around in a minute. Give me a second. Yeah, they're going to try and want to eat. And mommy not into it with them. All right. See all that fur that she made. They don't need this anymore. They're, they are they are fully coated with their own fur. They don't need that anymore. All right. They actually smell and look really good. I'm going to put fresh A in there. Right. All right. Let me try and show you them individually now. They are so cute. Oh, guys, I don't think it's going to be possible. I don't think it's going to be possible. Look at them, guys. This is the little runt. <laughs> That's campering away. This is the little runt, guys. Look at it. It is so cute. Let me try and show you it with one of its siblings. <sighs> They're so squirmy and so strong. Guys, look at that. Guys, it's half the size. Go on. They are so cute. Yeah, so that's where they're at. And they're trying to nibble on the hay. And what else are they doing? I'm not seeing them trying the water yet, but they're just doing so fantastic. I'm, I'm going to call this one Camille, whether it's a boy or a girl. I'm going to try and show this one to you. Uh, come here. Go back inside. <laughs> it is so squirmy. Come on. Look at that, guys. Its coat is so pretty and creamy. So it's a cream baby. Well, cream colored as I understand there's a French um what do you call that now rabbit which is a cream can call the name in French yeah so that's what they're looking like it's so fuzzy two weeks guys two weeks all right so there we go thank you so much for joining me guys for this quick update Go on.
go on. Thank you for joining me for this quick update, guys. See you next week when I bring to you their third week's birthday. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Bye.